clients. Welcome to Philip Capital's Weekly Market Watch. I'm Colin, Investment Analyst from Philip Securities Research. Allow me to share with you a brief overview of Raffles Medical Group, an integrated healthcare organization which operates medical clinics, a tertiary care hospital, insurance services, and consumer healthcare division. Raffles Medical Group was founded in 1976 with only two clinics in Singapore and has since then expanded to over 70 medical clinics as well as four medical centers in Hong Kong and Shanghai. The business is run by a strong management team and clinical leaders which include the two co-founders, Dr. Lu and Dr. Lo. Raffles Medical Group is a beneficiary of aging demographics, rising medical tourism and growing affluence in Singapore and nearby regions and is seeing a growth in the number of its foreign patients. These growth drivers have led to rising healthcare demand in Singapore and group revenue has since grown at 13% on a compounded annual growth rate basis since its SJX listing in 1997. On the growth drivers in Singapore's healthcare sector, we have seen expenditure by medical tourism grew 15.9% annually over a 10-year period from 2004 to 2013. The recent decline in expenditure in 2013 was attributed to the reduction in Indonesian medical tourists as a result of the sharp decline in the Indonesian rupiah against the Singapore dollar. On a positive note, we expect a recovery in medical tourism over stabilizing rupiah against the Sing dollar and we see expenditure continue to be on an uptrend over the long term. With rising affluence in Singapore and people's ability to pay for private healthcare treatment and services improved, private healthcare spending would likely be boosted. Aging demographics and longer life expectancies have also led to the increase in demand for healthcare services as the resident population ages and is living longer. With the public hospitals experiencing hospital bed crunch, Demand will likely spill over to the private healthcare sector and will boost Raffles top line growth. I will now like to highlight two recent key developments in Raffles Medical Group. The first is the extension to Raffles Hospital. With the acquisition of an adjacent land site and approved increase in plot ratio on the existing hospital land, the group seeks to build an extension to the hospital building which will see a 72% increase in floor area. The project, which is expected to complete in 2017, will facilitate the expansion of specialist centers and clinical research activities in Raffles Hospital and will help to free up existing hospital space for more beds. The other key development is the acquisition of a property site in Holland Village, whereby the group plan to redevelop it into a five-story mall with 62,000 square feet. The mall will accommodate Raffles' own medical and specialist clinics to cater to both locals and expatriates living in nearby areas as well as retail outlets which would generate rental income. The new mall is expected to complete in 2016. With these two new developments, we see further growth in revenue from 2016 and beyond. Raffles Medical Group also intends to grow overseas by building one tertiary care hospital in Shenzhen and another in Shanghai. It has signed a letter of intent and entered into a framework agreement with some corporates to explore forming joint ventures in the new hospitals. However, some risks in its overseas expansion will include tight supply of healthcare professionals as well as regulations relating to foreign staff employment in the private healthcare sector in China. On a quick overall summary, the investment merits of Raffles Medical Group comprises its competitive strengths, rising healthcare demand in Singapore, defensive business with healthy cash flow generations, and strong growth potential. Competitive strengths include its wide network of medical clinics and its group practice model which allows a holistic approach in providing healthcare services to its patients as compared to other private healthcare operators whereby their specialists are independently operated. The risks include drawing some demand from the private to the public hospital sector as the government focus on expanding the capacity and the quality in the public hospitals, rising staff costs, potential Ebola outbreak which will impact medical tourism, and regulatory risks. Despite the excellent growth potential, we deem that Raffles Medical Group is fairly valued at the present moment, trading at about 30 times price over FY15 earnings. Positive price catalysts in our view will include concrete plans announcement of its expansion in China and strong recovery to Singapore's medical tourism. For more details, please refer to our initiation report on POEMS. That is all that we have for you today. For more information, please log on to POEMS and refer to our reports on the companies. With that, I have come to the end of the presentation. Thank you for watching this week's Market Watch. I'm Colin from Philip Securities Research. Please subscribe to us on the Philip Capital YouTube channel and Facebook. Stay tuned for more Market Watch videos.